today is another uh, New Year video. Um, I know the last one wasn't very long and not very friendly, but uh, I've been kind of struggling over the few days, you know, with the breakup and everything, but I'm finally feeling a little bit better about the situation. Breakups are never easy with anyone, whether it's mutual, whether it's like a really bad breakup, it's never easy. So yeah, I've been mourning a little bit, but I've just been really been kind of excited because I'm moving Saturday, so it's kind of like a fresh start. Even though he go what was that? But even though he goes to the same school, I feel like it's just going to be a fresh start anyways, just because he doesn't go to the same school that I'm going to. We're just going to live in the same city. But the point of this video is to talk about my New Year's resolutions. Well, I'm kind of a hypocrite because I didn't want to have any New Year's resolutions until the breakup happened. Um, the breakup kind of made me feel like, yeah, I need to do something about my life because I just feel like I was being too dependent on him. I need to actually get my career started and to get more experience in what I want to do and just really focus on school, modeling, everything like that. And um, I have 10 resolutions that I'm going to do for the whole entire year. Um, I know a lot of people say that, but I really need to, to like find myself. So I'm going to get into my resolutions and um, explain each one kind of. My camera's dying, so I might have to go charge it. We'll see. So I just wrote them down in this book and, or book, spiral, spiral notebook. And I think I might like blow it up onto, a oh, blow it up. Yeah, I might blow it up. Bl blow it up. Bl I think I might put this on a poster and put it in my new room when I move in Saturday. So I'm just going to go through it and it says my new year's resolution. Number one is make yourself happy before worrying about others. What I mean by that is I'm always going to care about others no matter what, but I feel like over the few past few years I've always wanted to impress people and I've always wanted to make sure that everyone's okay and that no one's hurt and no one's really suffering you know and I will continue to do that but I need to make sure that myself me I'm happy um, before I really worry about others because if I'm not happy then I can't really help others be happy because you need a happy person to talk to if you're not happy. You know what I mean? I'm sorry if that sounds selfish, but I just really need to work on myself. Number two is be open to change. Uh, what I mean by that is just, I mean, I'm open to moving Saturday. Um, I mean, the past few days I've been like, oh my god, I'm, I'm just scared. Like, I don't think I should move anymore. But I'm going to be open to it because I'm going to meet a lot new people. A lot new people. A lot of new, more, more new people. I'm going to meet new people, and it's going to be really exciting, and... I'm just open to it. Like I'm open, open arms to anyone who wants to be my friend and no matter what size they are, what they look like, no matter what, I'm open to being, being, be being, I'm open to being your friend no matter what. That's just me. Um, I've always been like that, but I really need to like express myself a lot more because I feel like a lot of people out there don't really have friends and I'm always there to be a friend. Next one is an obvious, everyone, this is like everyone's resolution. I don't know if this will last, but um, intake healthier foods and take my vitamins every freaking day. Taking my vitamins is like the hardest struggle I've ever had to deal with because I just hate swallowing all those pills. It's just like it takes so much time to swallow those pills. So I have to remember to do those and then be healthier. Um, being in a new house by myself with not very much cooking skills is going to be interesting. Um, but I'm going to like start getting recipe books and everything and just start cooking healthier foods because I just, I mean, I think it's really, really needed in my life. So. I think I'll feel better about myself and I'll f have more energy. Next one is a given. Don't be judgmental. Um, I'm not very religious, but I am to a certain extent and I feel like um, God doesn't want you to be judgmental. He's the one that's judging us, so I feel like we should just um, take people as they are. Okay guys, so my camera died. I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. It always happens. It always happens. Anyways, I was on number four not being judgmental. Uh, I, as I was explaining, I don't really remember what I was explaining, but, uh, like pink hair, pink, if you see someone with pink hair, don't judge them. Just be like, damn, she has some cool hair. She can pull that off, even though if she can't, you know what I mean? So just be nice and, um, keep your comments to yourself. If you have something bad to say, don't say it out loud. Um, don't talk smack on people 
even though I'm very guilty of doing so, just don't do it. It's just, it's not a good quality to have, especially, I mean, with your friends, yeah, like your best friends, if you don't like someone, you can talk about them, but like, don't, don't make it known, you know, just don't hurt someone's feelings. Next is share your feelings to your best friends. I am one to share my feelings with everyone. I'm a very sensitive, emotional person, and I know that. I'm very aware of that. But my problem is, is that I tell everyone, and most people don't care. They don't give two craps about how I feel, which is understandable. I don't, I mean, I, I would care because I'm just, like, a loving, caring person. So if there's, like, like the other week, um, a guy was, I was sitting next to an old man and he just started talking to me about his issues and I just sat there and listened. And I mean, some people can do that, but some people can't. So I just need to learn to like hold it in and wait until I'm with my friends, you know, like you just want to, some things you just keep with your friends and that's all. Like share all my feelings with them and not like to the whole world. <laughs> like on Facebook, like I am so guilty, like everyone who's watching this video knows I'm guilty of posting every single feeling on Facebook. You're lucky I don't go on Twitter because that would be really bad, but I need to work on that too. This one is like really important to me, it's build my heart back up because it's very broken. As most, like some of you guys know, going through relationships uh, and breakups, your heart is going to be broken in the end. and. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, I don't know if his is broken. I don't. I don't know if he's hurting over it. And you know, I don't really care because I know I'm hurting. So um, it's just because it something ended. You know, like I'm gonna be hurting when I move my to my new house. Like that's something that's ending. Um, something, but it's something that's starting. So I need to realize that and be like, okay, so he broke up with me, but there's so many f more fish in the sea. So many more. So many more fish in the sea. And moving, I'm going to a new beautiful house with two beautiful girls that I'm rooming with. And I'm going to meet a lot more people and I have a lot of friends there. So I just feel like it's going to work out really well. And that's why I'm the heart is a muscle. And what do muscles do when they're torn? They grow back stronger. And I love that quote because it's true. Like if you break your arm, like I broke my arm, it grew back a lot stronger. So... If you guys are going through a breakup, just realize that it will get better. Don't talk to that person. Maybe I'll do like a separate video on what to do during breakups because I've just been going through it all. If you do want one of those videos, thumbs this video up because I will do one. Number eight is do an act of kindness every day. I started today with buying your friend a coffee, anything like that. So just surprising people and really making people's days. The last two is get rid of my negative attitude. Um, with my parents especially, I've been very nasty and rude to them just because I've been going through a breakup and because this whole moving situation is stressing me out and school and everything's coming up. But, I mean, you, all of you with, like, bad attitudes with your parents just step back and be like, whoa, like, I need to reconsider my life and just realize what they're doing for me. And, yeah, it'll work, trust me. Like, I'm going to be a lot better person this year to my parents and to everyone around me. Last one before my camera dies. It's just listen. Listen. I need to listen to my parents. I need to listen to people when they're talking to me. I need to stop chiming in every time that, oh, that, that happened to me. That happened to me. You know what I mean? Just let them talk, and then you talk. Give your opinion, then you talk. You know what I mean? And that's like communication, and that's what my relationship was lacking with my boyfriend and everything. So um, I think this year is going to be a really good year with all this stuff. So yeah if you have a new year's resolution video please leave it as a video response i would love to watch it and thumbs up this video once again if you want to see a what to do when you get broken up with video because i've done it all i've done i've done it all so if you guys want to see that please let me know and i will do one for you i love you guys happy new year and be safe for the rest of the year and i will see you in my next video bye